YouTube. Welcome back. We're having a little nursery in the car. Yeah. And I thought, hey, I'll say hi to YouTube while we're hanging out here. Hmm. So why should you nurse a three-year-old? Uh, a lot of people think, oh, you don't need a nurse toddler. They don't need the milk anymore. And that's kind of like saying, I mean, you don't need to eat chicken. You don't need to be hugged. You know, you don't, strictly speaking, need to eat pudding. But it's nice and has benefits, right? Um, you don't need to eat yogurt, but it has great health benefits. So I always think it's funny when people say, oh, they don't need it. Um, or, oh, it's somehow strange to feed somebody the food that we naturally make for our children. Um, I never get that. But I realize that doing anything worthwhile in life, you're going to have detractors on. Um, and you're going to have people that are negative or twist things. Uh, so I just try to, you know, stay positive on that and understand what works for my little family. But reasons that you can and should breastfeed your little toddler monkey um, is that it has continuous health benefits and those are I go into them in great detail in my breastfeeding guide in Milkosaurus that's linked down in the description box uh, but it has all sorts of neurological biochemical benefits uh, for little ones it's really amazing we're only just now starting to study it as a medical science um, and I'm always really impressed when I read something new going oh wow this really does affect every aspect of our lives um, it reduces incidence of careful my love cancers in the mother reduces those of asthma and allergies which includes autoimmune issues like psoriasis uh, reduces all sorts of obesity issues with children statistically speaking there are just a ton of benefits um, most health organizations will recommend a minimum of two years and up for whatever works for you. So it's kind of funny that we've gotten to a place where like a year, breastfeeding for a year seems like a really long time. And you know, when I was, when I had Abraham, I thought to myself, well, I mean, I want to breastfeed, definitely, you know, I was worried I wouldn't be able to. Um, and that was a concern for me. And I went, oh, okay, I, I can breastfeed, yay. And then I thought, you know, maybe it, a year, right? Do you wean it a year? I had no idea. Um, I never thought, oh, I'm going to be breastfeeding my three-year-old, right? And then it just suddenly worked for him. It worked for me. Um, it gives him a lot of comfort. It gives him a lot of nutrition. It gives him a lot of antibodies. And it just was the natural thing to do for our family, right? Um, and I had him and I thought, I'll have him on a sleep schedule. He will sleep in a bassinet and a crib next to my bed in my room and then he'll sleep in his own room and you know he will do tummy time on his own he will play in his pack and play on his own he will just be independent from the time he's a month old or something you know and clearly the delusions of a first time mother right i yeah 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 right <laughs> and then the more the longer i was i am a mother the more i realized the value and the importance of parenting the child and not parenting the parent, right? It's not about your needs necessarily, it's about your little one's needs. And take that into consideration, you know, mo mother's or father's needs are very important, but they aren't necessarily the guiding force for how to parent each individual child, right? Because each child is different in their needs and their wants, and you know, some of them are gonna have sensory processing issues. Some of them may be on the spectrum. Some of them may really want to be held and some of them may really dislike being touched or held. And that's okay that everyone has a different need. Children are individuals. They're individual little human beings. Um, and I think it's fine to move it around and adjust your parenting to parent your little monkey the way they need to be parented. He's so tired. <laughs> I love you, kiddo. So absolutely I encourage full-term breastfeeding 
breastfeeding for what works for mama and what works for your little one. Um, there's no right or wrong age. There's no bad or good thing to do. There's just, you know, informed is best. And that's really why I talk about breastfeeding so much on this channel is it's really hard to be informed and to be educated and to be supported in our decisions as mothers. There are people nitpicking everything we do. Too little, too much, too great, too bad. Everything is judged. And so I really think it's valuable to have this little safe space here where parents aren't judged. And you know, if gentle parenting is your approach, that your parenting, what works for your family is encouraged and loved and supported. And that includes breastfeeding. Mm. All right. Thank you all so much. Hit the bell so that you get all of our videos in your subscription feed. Give this a thumbs up if you love these topics. I love talking about breastfeeding. It is such a valuable topic that I think is so often misinterpreted or miscommunicated, um, either too technically or people turn into a strange fetish or something, which it's not. It's just part of being a mammal. It's pretty normal. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you around on Instagram and Twitter and on the other YouTube channel.